Well, the, the role of a, a teacher, we call teachers advisors, uh, they facilitate and manage learning uh, for a set of students. Sometimes uh, in our schools, it's, they're basically around the same age with two, three years difference. Uh, most of the time it's uh, co-educational, sometimes it's all-girls school. Very few times it's been all boys for us, but any of those kinds of combinations are up to the culture and the, and the place. Uh, the, the important thing, really, is to figure out how you to make your way in the world and for the teacher to manage and facilitate that. And, and they have expertise and contents, but really they're connecting students to who they want to become with texts, multimedia, and the people in the real world who can get them there. And as a little quote from the show The Wire, where uh, Dukey says to his kind of mentor as a prize fighter, how do I get to the rest of the world from here? And the prize fighter says, I don't know. Well, that limits our young people. And we know from the longitudinal study work that we've done over the course of 14 years of our students graduating, that they graduated two and four year colleges and they had all the academic skills and the 21st century skills and the social emotional skills, what they, we found out is 70% of them had work in their LTIs, what we call learning through interests or internships, in their fields of interest. So they had all that, but they also had relationships. They built social capital. And biologically, we're wired to build social capital. And biologically, we learn to get, we want to get better at the things, the things with an S that we want to get better at. So if you put those two things together, starting with the students' interests, connecting them to those things that matter to them and the people who know how to use those things, all of a sudden, as you go deep, you learn many things. I think Van Gogh said that.